Alright, so we're gonna go ahead to our events folder. We're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it member for member events. And we're gonna create a file and we're gonna call it guild member add.js for the guild member add event. Now he will open up a const and will require discord.js so we can or it can auto complete whatever we need. So what we're gonna be needing is message embed. Uh, then we're gonna be needing webhook client just like this and then guild ma uh, member just for the uh, parameters all right so now here we're gonna model dot exports the name of the event is obviously gonna be guild member add and if we spell it wrong our event handler will automatically validate the name so no problem uh, by the way we're using the event and command handler that we created in the last few episodes i can link them in in the video if you want click up to the right on the card to watch them Either way, let's continue. Here we'll uh, execute. We're gonna execute um, the guide, or we're gonna execute member uh, and client. And uh, then we can open up a code block. Uh, or actually, we can remove that client because we, we're not gonna be using that client at all, actually. So uh, let's create our parameter. So guide member for this member parameter. Um, just so we can auto complete for example member dot user for example if we didn't have the parameters let's remove them oops let's remove them like this now you will see that it will not auto fill whatever all right so now that you learned something um uh, here we'll grab a couple of objects from the member object so we're gonna tap const user guild equal member that's how we instead of typing member.guild or member.user we can just grab these objects from the member object uh, all right here if you want to add a rule uh, so for example if you go ahead to our discord uh, let's go to the entrance channel you see whenever somebody joins uh, uh, the server the bot automatically assign them the members role uh, so it's pretty simple you go to your settings to your roles go whatever uh, to the to the member role that you want to assign copy the idea of it we're gonna go to the visual cd code and here we're gonna type member.roles.add and here we'll pass in the id now later on in the episodes we're gonna be transforming our guild slash commands or guild bot to a public bot we're gonna be changing the ids to be a database a database stored either way so here now we're gonna type const welcomer equals new webhook client so we're creating a new webhook cli web hook client we're gonna open this round the brackets then curly and the id of um how to get the id of the webhook for example um let's go to the entrance channel this is your welcome channel uh, go to integrations webhooks and here you can create a new webhook now i don't need to create a new webhook because i already did just a simple new webhook select name since picture either way you're gonna go over here and you're gonna copy webhook URL. I'm gonna be changing this after the episode because whoever has your webhook URL can basically uh, send whatever they want. Either way, uh, so let's paste the ID uh, or the link over here. So if you see these numbers after the webhook slash, this is the ID. Now we're gonna put a comma and we're gonna type token. Actually, let's put this inside of a string so it's not just standing there, All right? So the token is after the id slash so after this slash you will see the token so let's copy that and paste the token inside of the string now we have created and connected uh, this webhook, uh, webhook line to the uh, webhook intended so here we're going to create the embed so um, let's say you want an embed looking like this like mine for example it's pretty slick you're going to type const welcome sorry equals new message embed All right we're gonna set the color of it you can set it to be uh, whatever you want aqualistic aqua for example now here we're gonna set the author uh, first of all the author is gonna be user dot tag now you see we didn't have member dot user dot tag because we already required the user object from the member uh, so this is this way you can simplify your code and then here we're gonna type user uh, dot avatar url and it needs to be dynamic set to true and the size you need to input which is gonna be 512 or whatever right so here we're gonna set the thumbnail the thumbnail with it, which is uh, this over here the picture of that member and um, so we're gonna tap set thumbnail and it's gonna be user or why bother we can just copy this and paste it over here and here we have our thumbnail 
Now here we're gonna set the description. All right, we're gonna start with back this. Let's open up a page to simplify it. We're gonna type welcome. We're gonna tag the member, or they won't get tagged because it's inside of an embed. To the, uh, we can make the guide name bold. So we're gonna, we're gonna type guide dot uh, <coughs> sorry guide dot um, uh, name. All right, you see we didn't type member dot guide because we already grabbed the guide from the member. All right. Uh, here we're gonna uh, create a new line, put the, or open a new line. I'm gonna type account created. Uh, this bracket uh, t, and here we're gonna type percent, and inside of the uh, brackets we're gonna type user created timestamp divided by one thousand because it's in milliseconds. And now here we we'll put this and r and this bracket. Right here we're gonna type, or we can open a new line and type uh, latest member count and we're gonna make it bold and we're gonna type oops my keyboard uh, we're gonna type let's see guide dot member count uh, once that's done uh, you can set the footer to be the id of that user or the member so set footer user dot id uh, we're gonna type actually let's do this so id equals to uh, and let's put the brackets just like this all right, and uh, it's pretty simple. Now we're gonna type welcomer dot send embeds, and we're gonna provide the welcome uh, over here. All right, so now that it's uh, we're pretty much done with the, our event. So do we really need to wait for another member to join us to test it? No, this code has something called client dot emit. I'm gonna show you a bonus command in this video. We're gonna go to the commands developer. We're gonna type emit.js. We're gonna model.export. Sorry, model.exports. Uh, or before before we can do that, we can actually grab the parameters. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna grab. Let's open up a const require Discord. Hopefully, I will come out with a snippet extension so we can stop bothering with this interaction and the client. And now here you're gonna model dot exports name is gonna be emit uh, description uh, emits uh, or you can type event emitter uh, and uh, permission it needs to be on administrator uh, and now here options inside of an array we're gonna type member for the member events so member uh, description guide member events sorry if i'm typing too fast you can pause the video it's the type of it is going to be string don't forget your commas right um required because it's only one is going to be required so let's set it to true excuse me so required is going to be set to true because it's it's going to be the only option later on we'll add more we can remove the requirement so choices here we're going to have choices inside of an array Name is gonna be guide member add. Value is gonna be guide member add. Uh, then we're gonna create a new option or choice. And it's gonna be remove and guide member remove instead of add. So now that we have set up our command structure, we're gonna go down and here we're gonna execute interaction and client because we're gonna be using a client. Then we can grab our parameters. So command interaction and client. Now here we're gonna uh, we can switch cases. So uh, first we grab the choices. So const choice or choice equals to interaction dot options dot get string. We're gonna get it from the member because it's the only option that we have currently. Now here uh, we're gonna type switch. We're gonna make a switch function or a statement. Uh, choices. In case guide member add, then we're gonna execute what inside of this code block. So it's gonna be client dot emit guide sorry guide member add, and here we're gonna pass in the interaction dot member so we can emit as us that joined the server or left the server. Here we're gonna type reaction reply uh, content uh, emitted the 
event and then we can make it ephemeral so it's hidden ephemeral set to true uh, and now we can copy this or actually let's go down here and break we can copy and paste this break and the only thing that we need to remove is uh, or change is the guide member add to guide member remove and this should be it for our emitter all right so let's try it out let's try out this command and event no errors we go to the discord now and uh, let's say all right now i'm gonna type emit guide member add and like you see here the webhook sent a message welcome links to the community count account created three years latest member count undefined what is this let's go to our event guild member count guys uh, sorry not guild member so now let's try the event guild member add now he received about 490 members let's delete this real quick this two and this two all right so now for our member a uh, guild member remove we can simply copy this create a new file call it guild member remove .js paste it we can uh, remove this we don't need it and uh, for the webhook we're gonna change it so let's say you have a member log channel let's create a channel real quick all right we're gonna go into the channel integration create webhook uh hello whatever save changes and here we're gonna copy of it we're gonna paste it over here take the id of it paste it here take the token and paste it here and that should be it instead of welcome it's gonna be logger whatever we can change the welcome over here here we can uh, change the color to be red and here we're gonna type um member let's let's remove all of this or actually let's just change this member has left the community and here we're gonna type joined and instead of user created timestamp we're gonna type member dot joined timestamp and this should be it so now let's restart our boat no errors all right so Let's go here and type emit uh, guide member remove. Oh, nothing happened. Let's see why. Oh, because it's we didn't change the name of the event. So let's change it to remove. Sorry, boys. Um, all right. So let's try out that command again. So em emit remove. And like you see here, Lex has left the community, joined a year ago. Latest member count for it's pretty simple you can do a lot of this this is only example of how to use webhooks and uh, create or send a welcome message or a leave message uh, you can do whatever uh, you want from here for example let's go to our uh, code here uh, this member here golden right here took our code from the status command and created his own version of it which is pretty neat so shout out to golden um yeah hope you uh, join the discord if you want support and i hope to see you in the next episode